Hello everybody, my name is Ashlyn from Queen Bee and Palerang Libraries and today we are going to be making rainmakers for our craft. Now, the idea with the rainmaker is that if you turn it over, then it makes a sound that's a bit like rain. <laughs> and the idea is that that rain sound might even make it rain outside. So, let's get started, shall we? Now, for this craft, we are going to need a cardboard roll. Now, I'm using a cardboard roll from Paper Towel, uh, but looking at it, the cardboard roll in my baking paper would also be a really good cardboard roll to use, but it's not finished yet. Or one from your alfoil or any other long cardboard tube that you have. You could even make one out of a piece of cardboard if you don't have any others. Now, I'm also going to use today some grains. Now, I'm using some wheat because that's what I had, uh, but you could also use rice or you could also use any kind of dried beans or lentils, or you could even use a bit of a mix to make a bit of a different sound. Now, I also have some tape for attaching to the bottom, some aluminium foil, which is important because that's going to make a snake in the middle that means that the grains fall slower and make a better rain sound. Some scissors. I've also got some brown paper but you can use any kind of paper if you want to that's just to cover the edges and I've also got some paper or cardboard for decorating the outside of my rainmaker. All right so let's get to it. So to start with today we are going to make the bottom for our rainmaker. So to do that I'm going to get a bit of brown paper and I'm going to trace around it with one of my fixes or a pencil would be good now make sure you leave a bit of space I'm going to trace around that and I'm going to do that twice just like that all the way around whoops there we go okay now I've got two circles now I'm going to chop a big kind of extra circle around my circle like this Whee. now what I'm doing here is I'm making the bottom of my rainmaker so this is something that's going to cover the hole so that the grains can't get out the end now I'm also going to chop I'm going to chop in four places. I'm going to chop it into, it's like chopping it into four quarters, but I'm only chopping up to where my circle line is that we traced. So one, two, three, and four. Don't go too, chop too far. All right. So I'm going to be taping my roll now. So I put some, here's some paper. And I'm just going to tape that around over here. I'm putting the circle to match up with the circle that we traced before. And you can fold those edges around and then you do some taping. Now the taping bit is a bit tricky. This might be easier if you get a grown up or somebody else to help you hold it while you tape around the edges. Whoa, because I'm not doing a very good job. And making sure that you tape this well because if you don't tape it very well and you leave holes then some of the grains can fall out or it might all fall off and all the grains go everywhere. So I'm going to keep doing a bit more taping to make that really secure I think. Okay so now you've got that end all taped up and we've got one end taped and one end not. Now the next thing we're going to do is get some aluminium foil. Now you want your foil to be at least three times as long. One, two, Three as your paper towel, maybe even a bit of extra. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Alrighty. Now, with my aluminium foil, I am going to scrunch it. This is the fun part. Woo but I don't want to scrunch it too tightly because if I make it too tight, then it's too easy for the rice to get down. So I'm scrunching myself a snake. So I'm scrunching it in the middle. But I'm also kind of going to weave it and circle it around so that all the grains have something that they have to fall down, like this. Okay, so now I have scrunched a good alfoil snake and I'm going to put it into my roll. 
in it goes. All the way in. Got a bit of a wobble if it doesn't fit. Okay, now I've got a cardboard snake in there. And now I'm going to pour my grains in there. And it might make a bit of a rainy sound. Let's see. Ooh. That's a good sound, isn't it? As they all go down the alfoil. It's almost made like a little kind of run. Like the cars down that way. Okay. Now, I'm going to sit that up there. Maybe you need someone to hold that one for you. And we're going to chop around the other one so we can seal it off now that we've got the grains in. I'm going to do another circle like this. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to chop it in quarters again. One. Two, and careful not to go over my green outline. You can just faintly see that. Three, four. All right. Now I'm going to put my paper over this and I'm going to bend it around and I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to carefully tape all the way around the edge. Ooh, here we go. And that bit. You may have a neater way of doing this and I think it is a bit easier when you've got a second pair of hands to help you with this bit. All right, but there we go. So now it's time to decorate my rain catcher. I'm going to chop myself some paper and make a bit of a mark so I can see how long it is. About that long. I'm going to chop my paper so that it fits around my roll. Like that. Now I'm going to decorate it now. You don't actually need to decorate too much. You just need to figure out how far around it's going to go till about there. Now because we are trying to pull some rain, I am going to draw some clouds. But you can do whatever you like that you think will be a nice design on your rain catcher. I'm going to draw some fluffy clouds. Now that I have all my clouds, I'm going to put this around my rain catcher. I'm going to get myself a few more little bits of tape. Okay. I'm going to fold this around under here. Spin it all around like that. So you have all the decorated bits showing. There we go. Take that there. And there we have it. Now, if you found that your rainmaker isn't making a great sound, then try and give it a bit of a squish or play with the alfoil inside and see if you can get the grains running through at a good rate. And it'll make a nice sound like this. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you had fun making that craft today, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the sunshine and maybe even enjoy some rain. Okay.